Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Dowsy. I'm Dowsy LeMay. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me wherever you are in the world. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about karma and emotional, um, the emotional component associated with karma. In particularly around the idea that your parents passing it down to you and how you're actually dealing with that in this life, okay? So, um, before I begin, I always like to say these are my truths and my experiences that have guided me down my own path. So use your own discernment, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. But keep an open mind just because it doesn't resonate with you now. Maybe down the road it can be beneficial when you have a different perspective. So let's talk about karma, right? What is karma? Karma, according to the Buddhists, would be that ye, the sum of your actions in this life and all your other lives, because they believe in uh, reincarnation, that the sum of your life today, the, all the actions in your life today, as well as all the actions that you've done in the past, uh, will dictate what your future um, experiences are going to be like. Okay. I think a lot of people says like, oh, if you do a lot of bad, you're going to end up having a future experience that's going to be really bad. Um, or if you do a lot of good, you'll have a future experience that's going to be uh, really, that's going to be aligned with being good. Now, I don't necessarily, um, my perspective on that's a little bit different. I would say to me, what karma is, is energy that never had a chance to balance out or energy that never had a chance to be transmuted into something different, right? It's not necessarily saying like, you know, if you do bad things and you're going to have something bad happen to you, that seems really almost like fear-based and anything that's fear-based to me has a sense of being um, hijacked for control. So to me, I would say that karma is really just energy that never had a chance to be completed or transmuted or to be balanced out. Okay. So how is karma playing out in your life? So karma is actually impacting life on many, many different levels. Um, in particular, it could be, it could be if, if you believe in past lives, I know I've had past life regressions and those past lives are having an impact in my life today. So it could be different lives that you have played out at different places all over the world or different times, etc. Those actions and the things that you've learned or did in those, those lives are, are brought to you via your soul and you're, you're helping balancing out some of those, those karmas. Uh, for instance, let's say that you had um, a sister in, in a past life and she, she committed suicide and you felt like you never were able to save her. Well, in this life, you two, you, your two souls were, uh, came into reality here, and what you're trying to do is save your sister or whatever it may be. That, that to me is what um, the past life karma uh, essentially is. You also have what you call um, ancestral or lineage karma. In my particular case, that would be like, you know, you are the sum of all the DNA of your, your family going all the way back, right? you are the sum of what all that is emotionally, energetically brought to you today. And you have to deal with that some way. I think that's why people say alcoholism or addiction or a certain trait is played out in your particular family, right? You have, say alcoholism, you know, we, there are a lot of people in your life or people who have alcoholism in their family, they, 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 see, that, they see that in a lot of the, um, their, um, ancestors and what they had to do is the people were living in that family today they have to find some way to balance out that energy that to me is um, what ancestral lineage car um, karma is but i want to pay, pay particular um, attention to what emotional karma is being passed down from your parents and how you're actually playing out that particular karma from your parents uh, so let's take my case for example I would say my father in my early years, um, I remember him being very angry. Um, uh, he, was, he took out a lot of his anger out on me uh, whenever I was trying to act up or whatever it may be. And uh, he, would, um, he would hit me, etc. In one level, he was probably feeling very angry and powerless at, at some level. Okay, And what he did unconsciously is he took that out on me. And because I'm part of his DNA and I was his son, he emotionally, unconsciously projected that anger and powerless onto me by, by, by um, you know, not allowing me to do certain things or hitting me and making me feel like I'd had no power whatsoever. That, that in effect is what 
karma is playing out from my dad into me. And then what I need to be aware of is how that karma is going to be passed down to my child or my children, right? And any experience that I have, I have to be conscious to make sure that in my experiences, I don't act out in a way to make my child feel like they're powerless by putting them in timeout or locking them in a room or whatever it may be, or even hitting them, which I don't. But I would say like that is the karma that I'm trying to balance out in my life. Now, I can give you a few other examples how this is impacting your life. Let's say, it's, from my perspective, I see a lot of karma passed down from the mother. The mother passes it down to the children via an emotional karma, right? So let's say one particular case, you have a mother that never felt validated, right? They never ever felt they were ever good enough, right? So when they go about their life, they hold on to the energy of feeling like they're never good enough, right? And in that particular case, what they would end up doing is having a child. And because they hold on to the identity of not feeling good enough, they magnetize in their reality a bunch of experiences that continue to reinforce the idea that they don't feel ever good enough or validated. Well, when it comes to the child, they're always going to have experiences with the child and they're gonna project the same emotion onto the child. And that child will then for on carry on the same exact emotion going forward. So that child will feel at some point, I, will never, I was never feeling validated from my mother and therefore I never felt good enough. And what you do is you just continue to carry that through until you have your own child and you pass that via your DNA and you pass it through your emotional karma via the experiences that you have because you were unconscious about it and you never got to balance that out. Okay, let's take another scenario. Let's say one where you had a parent that felt, um, let's say a parent was feeling um, uh, almost like they were betrayed, right? A sense of betrayal or they were uh, you know, stabbed in the back or whatever it may be, right? So let's say you had a parent that ended up having a divorce because their father cheated on them, right? Uh, the, mother, uh, the, the mother got a divorce from the father because the father cheated on them. And she felt really angry and really hurt and was really hanging on this idea of betrayal, right? So what ended up happening is that she always lived in the state of fear around betrayal. She felt betrayed. And the whole concept is her life it becomes an experience around betrayal. And what she does is she ends up putting the fear and the sense of betrayal within their child. And that child holds on to that energetic um, emotional component and then what ends up happening to them they live out that exact same thing in their life and they end up having something happen to them becoming bec realizing the exact same emotion that their mother was that's why so many people if it's a, if it's a, especially from the women's side why do you hate why do people end up not liking or hating their mother because they end up being exactly like their mother. That isn't a coincidence. It's because you've been, uh, un, your parents unconsciously passed that emotion and the karma via the DNA and the experiences from their mother down to you. And you are now set to live out the exact same frequencies and experiences and karma that your mother had. And it requires you to kind of say, how do we balance out this energy so I don't have to continue to pass this via this, this karma through my lineage onto my children and my children after that, right? So that I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what is playing out in a lot of people's life. You are dealing with a lot of emotional karma that's been passed down to you whether you know it or not, and it's requiring you in this life to balance it out, right? So the complexity of where this karma could come from, it could come from your ancestral, your lineage, it could come from past life things, whatever the scenario, it is very complex of what, what is driving your, your actions in your life today, but there is one simple, simple, powerful thing that you, can, that you should know about. The one simple and powerful thing is, is that it's up to you to heal it. It's up to you in this life to heal that karma, balance out the karma, transmute that karma so you don't have to continue that on or pass it on to your children, right? How do you do that? Just like all my other videos, you need to start looking inward. You need to start looking inward so you understand like what is it that I'm holding on to? What are these things that are, that are, that are occurring in my reality that's reflecting an emotion back to me and how do I end up looking at that and healing it and being the things that I need to be so that I don't have to keep 
creating these things in, into the law of attraction. So I, I want to bring that up because when we talk about my last video around emotions and how emotions are really playing some playing out in your reality by by coming into your becoming part of your frequency and you keep bringing the the experiences via the law of attraction based on what you're holding on to. Karma is part of this. You were passed down, it was passed down from your parents who then had held on to it from other experiences from their own family and it was then brought on to you as well, as well as other levels of karma that could be playing out in your life. But the powerful and the simple answer to all this is that it comes down to you. It comes down to you to finally say, this is enough, I'm going to balance that out. And this is what a lot of people are doing in today's time. You are doing a lot of karma clearing that's why things also feel so intense at, in these days because not only are you dealing with your own family lineage car, karma, you're dealing with a lot of karma from all these different levels and it's taking a lot of your um, uh, awareness and, and diligence to go through it and kind of help clear it and balance out the energy so that you can live a more peaceful and loving life. So I hope that helps you a little bit. I know that um, as you as we go um, as you go along in your life, you may not know where the answers are, but just understand that there is some level of karma emotionally that's being played out that's been passed down to you, but it requires you as a um, creator to step into that mode and to honor honor those emotions that are coming up so that you can balance it out. Um, hopefully that gave a little bit of insight about karma and what you're dealing with. If you guys have any questions, please, please feel free to reach out to me on Spiritual Dowsy on Instagram or at uh, my Facebook page, Spiritual Dowsy, or just let me know if in the comments or even subscribe to me on YouTube here and let me know if there's something I could um, help you out with. Other than that, I love you. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.